Hey, it's MK. So I didn't really change this layout very much except for I moved the border strip up to the top and I added two photos on the right page instead of just using one. So I didn't really think that this layout needed an introduction and a huge big long explanation of how I altered it. I absolutely loved this layout. It was one of the reasons why I bought this workshop in um, in the beginning because I just love that little cluster of like falling leaves or I, I don't really know weird but it's simple pretty simple they're all just four by 12 strips that I'm gluing down I'm not ripping them I'm not altering them I'm just covering up the background and that is pretty much it I have already glued um, or backed my, my leaf cut files, so you did not have to watch me do any of that. In fact, I did that for all of uh, the videos. I, I backed everything before I even turned the camera on just because it's, it's so slow. So, and now I'm trying to put the leaves, um, they had like this little white border that kept them all together, which was kind of, kind of neat because then I didn't have to randomly put them on the page myself and so I'm covering up that with this uh, close to my heart calls it a zip strip so I'm just covering that up and I'm pushing the little white piece down as far as it can go like all the way to the bottom of the zip strip so I get the most out of my leaves so I can see everything out of my leaves right and then I'll bring back the pages. I've already backed my photos in a gray cardstock and a, um, what is that? Uh, the red cardstock. I think it's sangria, but don't, don't quote me on that. <laughs> Not that it matters. So, and I love the grungy like diamond plate on this uh, project life card or picture my life card, I guess is what it's called. I really did like that. It it just And then I'm trying to cover up that little border only because it sticks out now with the photos on the left. I have so many that you won't even see that border. But the one on the right is definitely uh, like I don't want to say dominant, but it is definitely you can see it and it I just don't like it. So, but I will find a solution. I promise. But for right now, I'm going to work on the left page, putting up all the photos. And I decided that the center photo is going to get uh, popped up. It's going to get foam on the back. So I went and got my foam and I'm just cutting it. Uh, so my foam pieces are four by six and they don't have the adhesive back. Ugh. Anyways, it's a long story. And so I just trim off a quarter of an inch and then that way I have full coverage on the back of my card or on the back of my photo mat. And then that way I don't have to worry about it rippling over time. So I've noticed that when I just put it in the corners and one in the center, then I get a ripple and it, my photo looks, uh, what's the word? Rippled. That's the word, rippled. So, and then I'm putting the leaves up at the top. I have chosen to glue some down and then again popped up some at the tip and just for dimension I mean this layout it turns out pretty fat flat <laughs> it's not fat <laughs> yeah PHT fat <laughs> just kidding um, but yeah no I it, the the whole the layout comes together really super fast I mean the the border up at the top was just enough and then of course um, the pictures being left at four by six also did enough so it, it just came by that super fast and miraculously all the leaves are glued down on next to the title and I thought about adding more wood pieces because I have this like skeleton leaf right here that I'm going to glue down and it just in a way it just kind of like it's random on the page there is no other wood elements but 
it kind of blends in so well with this leaf cluster that I decided to go for it. I'm, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And that's it. And when I turn the layout over to trim off that one photo, you can see how my pictures, um, when I used that liquid glue on the foams, you see how it buckled my paper, but it's not really noticeable from the front. That doesn't bother me one bit. And here's the right page. Now these two uh, layouts will not be next to each other in my album. They will um, actually be back to back. And this layout here will be facing the left page of layout um, number five that I did previously. So, and that little border strip that I just put on, it's a little sticker that came from the sticker sheet, same one where I picked up the title page. And the reason why this one got two different colored photo mats, in case you guys are interested, is because the red one was already like pre-cut for this layout, but I thought it was too red, but I didn't want um, to cut up more. You know, I had lots of photo mats left over from when I replaced the photo mats for different colors. Like I used uh, gray instead of the, instead of the red. And it, it, I just felt like it was too much red. So it's actually a really pretty red. It's a purpley red. So, and just like the other layout, I'm laying down the cut file. And the cut file was really super thin. So there were some places where when I cut off the backs, I accidentally cut into the cut file. So... That was just me gluing it down, fixing it up just a little bit. And popping up these ones here. Yuppers. And it just went together that super fast. So I didn't cut anything out. I didn't like the gluing I know is super boring, but it's, it's just one of those things that if I would have cut that out, you guys wouldn't have saw a process at all. I, that was it. So these are super old. And I thought that I was going to use them because this was um, back in October our, is when our fall festival is. But I changed my marbles. I like it the way it is. And here are the close-ups. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as an extra bonus, I decided to throw in layout number seven. So hang on, stay tuned, and here it comes. Hey, it's MK. Welcome back to layout number seven. Now, <laughs> this is a very busy layout. It's got loads of things going on right here. I feel like this is just for decoration. And the centerpiece is what um, where the photos are, like two four by sixes here, um, whatever, I think two by threes are what those are. And then um, a couple two by twos going on over here. I'm not sure, I didn't measure. It was just what was like I said, um, pre-cut for me, and this is what, nope, hang on, I thought I was ready, I'm not, okay, so this is what the layout was supposed to look like, there we go, not as busy as mine, um, I took some leftover hexagons from uh, another layout where they didn't really fit. My photos were too big, so the, the hexagon element had to be left out. So I put those all on there. Luckily, I only have a few... I think I have five. I have a few hexagons left, but not a big, not a big deal. And <laughs> anyways, I just really wanted to show you guys this type of layout is not for me. Um, I don't like this element right here where it says the word fall. I do kind of like the, oh, what is that called? The sunflower. But this little, it's already pre-cut into whatever stitching frame this was. It's already pre-cut. And so, and then this leaf right here makes the letter A. And I honestly, I don't like that. Um, that's probably the only element I don't like. But I also don't like um, all of these tiny little options. Will I have photos that make them work? I probably will. I probably will get something um, to get this 
to work. However, I'm just not sure if if I like, I don't know, um, I love looking at this layout just like this. I'm half tempted to glue it all together just so it'll stay like this, but will I use it today? Will I put it together for you guys on camera? I don't think so. Um, I, I think I'm going to have to pass on this one. I was thinking about adding this little trim, um, probably cutting it in half and adding it down the side of either this side down here or this side over here. I can't make up my marbles just yet, but I was thinking about that. Um, other than that, I, I'm really sorry you guys, I don't, I'm not sure. I might trim this off down here and just have this little, and not have this fall bit, Make find a larger photo. Um, and get rid of this and I don't know why this was cut like this I, I don't this it was included in my kit and then of course these were cut pieces from the cutting guide I, I just don't understand them and um, and yeah I <laughs> yes Kelly is a phone call away but um, again that still wouldn't help my the busyness of this layout but I do like I do like some things about this layout. So what I'm thinking about doing is, um, for you guys, I will go ahead and I'll put all this stuff together, but I might go into my stash and pull out a 12 by 12 of these and cut it at 6 inches and just have the full thing going down, trim off this element and just have this little square. Um, I might trim it off to where this matches, but I'm not sure. I might trim it all out so it's just a frame. I might do the same thing over here. I don't know because why bother doing that to an element that I might not even use? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm still thinking on it. Um, I could move these hexagons and have this picture here. I could have a picture here um, and journaling or a title over here, a subtitle right here, a picture here, a picture here. Um, so I could have a ton of photos. I don't have any at the moment. Um, I will continue to look in my stash and see what all I have, but as far as the photo set that I have been working with, with these, um, with these particular layouts, I I've ran out of those photos. <laughs> I 2015 is almost done though, um, go me. So I'm super excited about that because, hey, it's only, well, right now when I'm recording this, it's the end of January. Um, and these probably won't go up until February and March, uh, February or March, sorry. But um, one of my goals for 2020 was to finish an album, and it's January and I'm already, I'm almost done with 2015. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> yay! But anywho, I um, there are bits and pieces that um, I have to con I have to finish first before I can consider it completely done like the 2017 album. So with that being said, um, yes, I will glue all of these things down, especially these two side pieces. I really do like those, but if I'm going to put a picture here, which I probably won't, um, I, I just don't like the fact that there's a picture here and a picture here right on top of each other and they're not kind of random, um, but I probably will put a picture here and so I will strategically put glue in places to where I can put the picture underneath, but this whole panel right here um, is definitely going to be altered because of this one little element and the fact that I don't have a full 12 by 12. I don't have it on this side either, but I don't have a full 12 inch piece going right here. So um, stay tuned if you guys want to see this just glued together with no photos. But right now, it yeah, it's going to be no photos and then probably put in my um, pre-made layout box. All right, stay tuned. Alright, so first things first is that I cut most of this process out because it's honestly, it's just me gluing things down and I wasn't really sure if you guys were interested in watching any of that whatsoever. So I did go into my stash and pull out a full 12 by 12 um, sheet of this brown cardstock. I also trimmed off 
that pre-cut word from the bottom of the first photo cluster and I and then I turned it so that way it was at a different it wasn't exactly the same what is it called um, position as the one on the left so I turned that one I left putting in my ATG tape just because I have seen or heard or read where people struggle with how to put the tape in and I, I, I just I don't know it it's simple to me and so I thought I'd just leave it in there um, even though it is on fast forward <laughs> and everything is pretty much glued down that's all it is I did turn that brown um, like photo cluster with journaling spot I did turn that around so um, you know like one time so that way the photos are just at a different angle I, like I said I have no idea what photos I'm going to be putting on here none whatsoever but um, I did glue things down to keep the photos in mind so nothing is in the way now this piece I kind of left in so you could see that I left it in the odd shape that it was cut like I said I have no idea why they were cut in this manner but I left it and you honestly can't even tell that they are two separate strips um, and maybe that's why they were cut is to make sure that that little zip strip does not you know go in the wrong spot and then your photo is not four by six I have no idea I do not know most of the instructions that come with these types of workshops are are very minimal it it's just you know here's how you do it and and this is you know it, there's no why as as to why you're doing it just here is how you do it so I left gluing this part in I did not put it in the other one because of course there was two but I did use my ATG on the bigger spots and then I used my liquid adhesive on the smaller spots and that's pretty much it I again did not make you guys watch me glue everything down it's the same process all over again I'm just cutting off my glitter strip uh, little left hangovers and that's about it so there's the finished layout again they will go in my um, box of finished layouts that have no pictures for when I do have pictures if I ever do I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this layout because it definitely is not my style but I wanted to put it together because it was included in the kit it was fun to put together I did enjoy altering it I do like it a lot better now so I hope you guys enjoyed this little series I loved making it and I cannot wait for the next one see ya <laughs>